the nature of your mind is completely wide open like a clear sky. Your mind is already completely relaxed, incredibly potent, and totally aligned with the reality of pure benefit. And the way that you can identify this for yourself, the fundamental nature of the intelligence by which everything is known, is just to stop thinking for a moment. Allow yourself to notice the intelligence that knows everything. Recognize that there is an alertness and a cognizance that is hearing these words, that knows you're sitting on that chair, it's looking through your eyes. It's the power to know. Now this intelligence is always on. You cannot turn it off. You can try. You can try right now if you like. It's always a good test. So just see if you can stop being aware for a moment. See if you can turn off your intelligence. It's there. And why it's important to recognize this fundamental nature of our intelligence is that in the instinctive recognition of this always-on intelligence, this open intelligence, we tap into the most comprehensive kind of intelligence that we have access to. The way that conventionally we've been trained to utilize our intelligence is as a sorting machine to focus in on all of the ever-changing descriptions and to try to make something out of them by describing them in certain ways, by fitting them into different categories that we've learned. So, for example, we could have categories of thoughts, emotions, physical sensations, and we try and fit our experience into those categories. We could have categories of positive, negative and neutral we could have categories perhaps of internal and external. And when you try to make sense out of the world, and to try to work out how to act and how to behave and how to make powerful decisions based on this conventional categorization of our experience, it is very, very difficult. And I know this because I tried this approach for many years. I looked into this in, uh, in some depth. And life always seemed complicated. I was never certain about what to do in any situation. And the way that I'd been trained was that if I wasn't certain about what decision to make or how to act, then I needed to think more. I needed to categorize in a slightly more complicated way. I needed to work more things out. And I tried that approach. And life got even more complicated and I found it even harder to act. Completely paralyzed by this obsessive focus on all of the different data that's just streaming through my experience. So all of these categories, all of these descriptions, we can just call data. And what is the fundamental nature of these descriptions? What's the fundamental nature of this data stream? What can I actually say about it? In my own experience, not what other people have told me, not the categories that I've learned from books and school and the media, but what can I say about my own experience? All I can really say about it is that it appears vividly like a rainbow in the sky and then self-releases effortlessly and naturally, like mist evaporating into air. There's no effort required. Now recognizing this fundamental nature, both of the intelligence and then of the content of that intelligence, the data, gives us access to incredible wisdom and immediate benefit for all. 
the first place to identify that wisdom and that benefit is with ourselves, for ourselves. So when you just stop describing for a moment, you allow that stream of data to be exactly as it is, there's a sense of relief. There's a sense of relaxation and openness. There's a sense of clearer and clearer seeing because you're no longer completely consumed by focusing on all of the ever-changing descriptions. The perspective broadens and you see everything with a laser-like discernment. Now for me, this went against everything I'd ever learned and it was very, very challenging because my intellect my rational processing, my analysis was something that I had been trained up to treasure and it was the only tool that I used to try and make sense of the world. So when I was told to stop thinking for a moment and to rely on this intelligence that is always at the basis of my experience, my immediate reaction was to try and think about and work out how that worked but actually there, apply the same process. Take a short moment of relaxing with the need to try and work out how open intelligence works, what benefit is. We are completely aligned with the intelligence of nature, where everything is already working in complete harmony and for the benefit of all, regardless of its description. And this is the nature of our intelligence. We just need to relax and allow this to become more and more obvious one short moment at a time. It sounded too simple. How can, how can it be that simple? I must need to work something else out about that. But that is not the instruction here. The instruction is to take short moments of allowing this flow of data to be exactly as it is and recognize the open intelligence that is always naturally, in, uh, naturally present. And in that reliance on that intelligence, you will know exactly what to do and what to say in each circumstance. It's actually very powerful and a perfect starting point to recognize how difficult it is to take action when we're focused on the data. And when there's a situation where we can see violence happening, there is so much data going on. And everything you're thinking and feeling in that situation. Should I act? Shouldn't I act? What happens if I do? This might happen, that might happen. Then all of the guilt and discomfort around not acting. And as soon as you focus in on that, there is incredible discomfort. And a complete inability to act clearly and in a way that will be of powerful benefit. I've seen circumstances in my life where I found myself speaking and acting in ways that I had no idea I could speak and act in. And that capacity and that power didn't come from focusing on the data. It came from allowing that data to be exactly as it is. All of the data of fear about speaking up. All of the data about embarrassment of everyone's going to look at me now. Instead there is a clear oversight, an overview on all of the data. We utilize the data to be of benefit for all. The data are the dynamic energy of open intelligence. So we don't want to get rid of the data, but we empower them and extract this incredible potency from them by allowing them to be exactly as they are and recognizing them as inseparable from open intelligence. That does not need to be thought about. The invitation here is to instinctively recognize this for short moments repeated many times until that instinctive recognition is obvious at all times. So what's required here is an openness just to test that out for yourself. Not to go away and think about open intelligence and to think about short moments, but to actually take short moments, participate in the algorithm of the Four Mainstays, which is a guaranteed educational program where you can train up the power of your mind to rely on this vast comprehensive open intelligence. It's not some vague notion, it's very, very specific.
And the more you train this up, the more obvious your beneficial potency will become. And practically what that means is that you will have more and more confidence that you do know what to say and how to act in each circumstance in a completely relaxed and potent way. With an easygoing attitude and yet at the same time a directness and a, and a power that I certainly had no idea I ever had access to. So the restraint of the focus on data, the paralysis that we feel when we're completely absorbed with this effort to try and manage and understand and analyse all of the ever-changing descriptions, this is restraint. By allowing everything to be as it is, you have immediate access to this spontaneous wisdom. Now all of us have already experienced this in our lives, it's who we are, it's innate, it's very familiar. But we need some way to train up this capacity within us. And that's what you will find in the Balanced View training. Not some philosophy that talks about the nature of reality or talks about the nature of intelligence, but very direct instructions and practices and texts that you can spend time with that enliven and evoke this instinctive recognition allowing you to integrate it into your everyday life. And you might hear things that seem a little bit strange at first, like nothing ever happens. And what that actually means is, in one way nothing ever happens because all that's going on is open intelligence shining forth its incredible display of beneficial data. That's what's going on right here, right now in this moment and the next moment, and this moment. An ever-changing display of pure, perfect brilliance. However, every moment is unique. The display is never the same, it's continually changing. And this is the wonder of it. It turns life into this adventure of benefit. Every moment becomes an opportunity for you to train up and recognize open intelligence just by allowing the data to be exactly as they are, repeating that short moment. It's so simple and yet so potent and profound and the results that you'll see in your life, the practical results, really allow you to recognize the power and potency of this training. To see that it's not just words, it's not just hot air, it is actually a lifestyle. And that's the full implication of what we're doing here. Really challenging the very foundations on which human society is built on. So rather than sitting around and moaning about everything you see wrong in the world, which is what I used to do, and I spent hours doing that with other people, and we'd sit around moaning about this and that, moaning about the governments and the corporations, people that we didn't know and the people that we knew, we take responsibility for recognizing all of our data as the beneficial potency of open intelligence. It has to start with each one of us. There's no other place that it can start. And what you begin to see is that society is us. We are society. Society is not somewhere out there separate or apart from you and apart from me. We create society. So by taking responsibility, by training up our power to be of great benefit, we are changing society from within. If you've ever been a secret revolutionary or a radical, you're in the right place. 